Welcome back on the show. We already told you earlier that we were bringing an Afropop singer who's also a songwriter, and then he's the CEO of Contraband Music Label, and also an artist. I'm talking about Hope Freeman Idaho, also known as Hope Cash. Welcome on the show, Hope Cash. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good to have you. Likewise. Uh, uh, Masashi all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hope, let's actually look at your music career. I just found out that you dropped your first single, your, de your, de your debut single, January 2019. So congratulations on that. Thank you. How did that go? Yeah, it's going well. The music is really going well. Yeah, we are having a very good uh, uh, reaction. So mm. people are reacting to it very well. Okay. So uh, right now we're just uh, trying to make a lot of promo. And um, uh, the love uh, was Zobia, but the radio and the Wazobia mass is giving me, you know, tells me that we are going somewhere. Okay. Thank you so much for that. But now let me ask. You've managed other people before now, helped push other people. Why did you decide to do music? Uh, the dream has always been uh, to sing. Okay. That's actually my passion. Uh, but but I, I also believe that... Uh, uh, just different uh, roads to destination or destiny. Mm. Sometimes you start off somewhere else, and, but the main target is actually singing. So, mm. um, so in 2019, so I decided to venture, you know, test the water. Okay. Um, okay. Let's hope that that turns out well for you. But you're the CEO of your own record label. That's correct. Now, would you say that you did that because, you know, the opportunities did not abound for you to work with other record labels, or was that always the plan? Uh, uh, I did it because um, uh, I can be able to do what I want for now uh, and so that I ha have enough space for myself. So if the opportunity uh, comes to be signed under another, maybe a bigger record label, will you take it? Uh, we're not thinking about that right now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, because uh, we think Contraband is going to uh, go worldwide. Uh, oh. Contraband is a, a massive uh, project. So we think... Uh, uh, Contraband will stand on its own. Okay. So right now, my focus is my mu music career and at the same time, uh, contraband music. All right, still on that, let's look at the ups and the lows of that. You know, the mm -hmm. advantages and disadvantages of being the boss and the artist. What would you say are the, the advantages of that? And what would, you've already mentioned the fact that you have flexibility and time to yourself. What would you say are some of the challenges you encounter being your own boss and being the artist as well? Uh, right now, I'm just testing the water. Um, so I know there's going to be a... Uh, lots of challenges, yeah. But but I'm uh, ready to handle it. Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, being a boss and at the same time an artist is I have to separate the both of them. Uh, you know, being a boss is okay. Uh, finances, how do you make money off what you are doing? And but the art for me is just passion. That's the the singing part. It's just a uh, passion. So I think I I can do both. And, okay, uh, so I know that you traveled abroad a while ago and you actually came back because of the music. That's correct. Why didn't you do it there? Why did you have to come home to, you know, leave out this dream of music? First of all, in everything you do, you have to recognize your, your audience, your target. Uh, and uh, right now, Nigerian music industry is really doing well. Everywhere you go, even if you are second generation, third generation of African uh, origin, a lo lots of people can relate to Nigerian music industry right now. Mm. So, and then I, Nigerian is big, African is big. So I believe there's a lot of opportunity here. So that's why I came back. In uh, fact, even people that are abroad have lived there for you. Everybody's coming back because they yes. realize that coming back to claim Nigeria is, is the way to go because your music would, your family would accept you much more. Yes. You know, that's not to say that you can't do well abroad. And course. also, and also when you, if you start your career here, people there tend to respect you a lot. Oh, really? Oh, really? I didn't know that. That's correct. Yeah. I would have that's thought true. maybe it was the other way around. No. Because sometimes people feel like, oh, until you go no, out it, and it get means, accepted. It means accepted. It's, it's organic, it's original. Uh, so basically when you start here, you gain a lot of respect. Mm, uh, okay. So because that's, that's it's Afro, pop, hip hop, R&B, and Nigeria is massive. Uh, and be big names and do it well in this industry. So, all right. So your <laughs> debut single titled "Follow." Yes. What What does it mean? And you know what What inspired that song? Uh, it's everyday love story. 
especially we live in a, uh, a society where you have a, a tribal problem and maybe when you want to get married to an Igbo and if you're Yoruba, your, your parents might not like it and your, your siblings might have, or maybe different religion. Mm. So the, the storyline is just sticking to your heart. Fight for what you, you, you really love. Why do you sound like you had a personal experience? <laughs> I Did think, you? I think a lot of Nigerians <laughs> will relate to the music. Okay. <laughs> if you're a big man, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Wish you all the best in your career. And it's important that, you know, we try out new things. You're testing out the water in January 2019. Who knows? Come January 2020, this could be a big deal. It could be the biggest decision you've made in your life. And we wish you all the best as well. If you had the opportunity to collaborate with any artist in Nigeria and outside Nigeria, who will that, okay, two artists, one in Nigeria, one outside Nigeria, who will they be and why? I think I'd rather focus with Nigeria, but yeah, but Nigeria, Fino. Uh, Fino. Why? Why Fino? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, even a lot of comments that I've been getting, a lot of people want Fino to be, uh, for me, uh, want me to collaborate, uh, I mean, collaborate with Fino. Anything Fino uh, touches, talks to me, so <laughs> that's not even a surprise. I love him. I love his rhythm. So I internationally? I think DJ Tiesto. Wow. Yes. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. So um, mm. congratulations to you on that. I hope you get to do your collaboration with Fino as well, because Fino is fire. Like anything he touches turns to gold. Absolutely. In a moment, we get to see him and get to have a feel of his vibe. And then you let us know, let him know on social media if you are feeling him. What's your social media handle? Uh, Hope Cash. Uh, Instagram uh, uh, at Hope Cash Official. And uh, Twitter, uh, Hope Cash Official without the L. The right. end. Okay. At the end. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.